What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Kingdom of Heroes video. Today guys, we're going to be going over Arya. Now, I just built her myself. Got her maxed, 6 starred. And I've been asking myself, should I build her damage? Should I build her support? Should I build her with a ton of accuracy? And I've been switching builds back and forth. And I was actually under the assumption that her 8-3 did damage off of maxed HP. I was 100% wrong on that. So let's go over her skills first here so we can get them correct. So if Arya has one or more debuff at the start of her turn, all of Arya's cooldowns are reduced by one turn. An amazing passive, much better than Calypso's. Then we got the 8-3 here, and this is where I was messed up, and I thought this was damage based off of maxed HP. This is successful hits have a 60% chance to inflict one continuous damage and increase the glancing rate of an enemy hit for one turn. Now this skill does pretty good damage, not max HP damage, but it does okay damage. This A2 does no damage at all, and this is just copying the buffs from the enemy target, and then recovers Arya's attack gauge by 50%. Now the only thing I don't like about this A2 is it doesn't actually strip the buffs on the enemy, it only copies them. So let's say the enemy has invincibility, and you copy it, you're going to get invincibility, but the enemy is still going to have invincibility. So it's a good skill, but I feel like it could be better. It should actually be steal the buffs and not copy the buffs. I would think that would be a lot better. And I don't think it would be too overpowered. But as is, it's a fun A2. But I would love to see it actually steal, strip the enemy's buffs instead of just copying them. And then we got the A1. Successful hits have a 55% chance to inflict continuous damage on enemies hit for two turns. So all around, Arya has a pretty solid kit. Much better than Calypso's. I'm not sure why they made her so much stronger than Calypso. I think it's because they gave us Calypso for free. I have like 10 Calypso's in my storage right now, and I have no idea what to do with them. So I'm guessing because Calypso was free, they kind of tried to not make her too OP, and in doing that, they ended up making her not that great at all. But Arya is actually a solid unit. She does pretty decent damage, and she is a fun unit to play with, especially in like TOA hard, TOA normal. I was playing around with Arena, I was having a lot of fun with her. Just a fun, all around, solid unit. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want to invest skill fairies into her. Maybe over time I will. But the fact that she only does damage on her A3, and her A1 is only a single target with a sub target, I just feel like I'll always have a better option as far as Arena goes. Now, as far as TOA goes, on some of those tree floors or TMA elemental, she's gonna be fantastic. Triple S tier as far as that goes, but I don't know if it's worth actually putting skill fairies into her for that. Now, as you can see for the build, we have some HP, we got some attack, we got some defense, we got 180 speed, we got some crit rate, we got some crit damage. Now you don't want resistance on her because you want her to have a debuff or two on her when she starts her turn, because then she's gonna recycle her cooldowns so you definitely don't want to stack resistance on your Arya. Then we have her over 100% accuracy, which I believe is important because most of her kit is debuffs. You know, it's glancing, it's poison. So you're pretty much going to be using her for the poisons, it seems. And she looks amazing. But let's go over the runes here. So I have her on Swift Revenge, I believe. And the reason I have her on this is because her A1 puts up a poison. And I have her on Swift because I want her fast. I have most of my units on Swift at this point because... I farm F11 like crazy, pretty much 20 plus hours a day. So I have a ton of Swift runes. Now, I wasn't sure how to build her, and I'm still kind of not too sure. Now, I had her on a full damage build, and she really wasn't doing like crazy amounts of damage. She was doing okay damage. I would say like 4k to 6k with a critical hit. But then I was lacking the accuracy and the speed. So then I switched her over to this build, which is an attack slot 2 instead of an HP. And then I have her on accuracy slot 6 because I really want her to have that 100% accuracy. Now, I could put her on a full damage build, which we might do today. I'll probably switch runes with somebody else, put her on a full damage build, and see her damage difference between the set I have her on now and a full damage set. So that's what we'll do here today. We'll test out which set would actually be better for your Arya. But for now, we'll go over this build because I think this build is actually going to be a good general build for your Arya. So we got slot 1, resistance, which we don't want. Accuracy, crit rate 21%. I can't believe this rolled 21% crit rate. I'm probably going to put this on an attacker really soon. And then we got crit damage 5, attack slot 2, 8 speed, 15 crit damage, 9 crit rate and attack. I was trying to get as much damage on my R as possible, but I just don't know if going damage is the best build for her. 
Because if she's copying buffs and putting up poisons, you want her to stay alive. So if you have her super squishy on a damage build, she's not going to be able to take in much damage, which is kind of going to cancel out her A2, her A1, and her A3, and her passive. So I kind of feel like this would be the best general build. Maybe even switching this with slot 2 attack to an HP percentage rune would probably be even better. So then we got accuracy, speed, defense, crit damage. Then of course we got speed, HP, accuracy, defense, attack. Then we got accuracy, crit rate, resistance, defense. Then we got accuracy, crit damage, defense, crit rate, and resistance. So let's try this build on her. Let's actually bring her into campaign. And then I'm going to switch her over to my URL set. And we're going to see how much damage she actually does here. So let's take this set and let's bring her into campaign. And let's see how much damage she does here. Because I really wasn't seeing a difference. And the fact that her A2 doesn't do any damage kind of makes it hard to want a runer as a damage dealer. Especially when she's putting up poisons and reducing her own cooldowns to put up more poisons. Kind of don't want to put her on a damage build. But let's test it out. Let's see how it goes. Let's bring the monkey in just to get the extra attack here. And then we're going to put my URL's runes on her and see the damage difference. And see the actual difference if it's worth putting her on a full damage build. Which I don't think it's going to be. So her damage would have to be significantly better on a damage build for you to want to build her this way. But I figured for this video we just test it out. I'll show you guys the difference. And then you guys can make the decision for yourselves on how you want to actually build your Arya. And it also is going to depend on where you're going to use your Arya. For me, I'm not going to use her in Arena. I'm probably only going to use her in TOA. And probably some Guild War offenses. She might even be a good defense unit, but I think she would have to be fully skilled up for that. So let's put a defense break on everybody. Now Arya has a AoE A3. So let's test that out here with the full defense break. And let's see how much damage she does here. And this is just with like a hybrid set. She's not full damage. She only has 50% crit rate. You know, the attack slot 2, which I showed you guys already. So let's see what she can do here. So it looked like 25k was the highest on that a3 with the defense break so let's keep that in mind for when we switch her to the damage set i want to see how much her a1 does without a defense break so she's doing 1k on the a1 25k on the a3 so let's just clean this up here with monkey and let's put her on url set and see the damage difference i don't think it's going to be a huge difference maybe they silently buffed her damage and i don't know it and i'm going to be shocked on how much damage she's going to do on a full damage set but you can see the monkey there almost the same amount of damage on his a1 that Arya just did on her a3 so let me switch the runes here and then we'll come back to this and we'll see the difference so now we have 1900 attack 80 percent crit rate 235 percent crit damage 162 speed and 27 accuracy we have a little bit resistance but that's okay because we're just using this as a test so let's go back into the campaign here and let's do the same exact thing and let's see how much more damage she does on her A3. And this will give us a general idea on how we want to actually go about building our Arias. And now some of you guys might be using her in different places. But for me having like every single Nat 5 in the game, I'm only going to use her in Pacific places, which is TOA. So she's going to have to do a significant amount more damage, almost double the damage for me to want to skill her up and use her as a damage dealer. So let's do the defense break. Perfect. We only got three of the four, but that's okay. We'll still be able to see the difference. So now let's see how much damage she does on Urel's runes. 32k. So she did 1k more damage. And that's with almost double the attack and about 40% more crit damage. I don't think it's worth it. So for me, I would stick with the hybrid build, which is an attack slot 2, speed, and accuracy. Now if you can get enough accuracy and substats, I would actually go attack, speed, attack. And I wouldn't worry necessarily too much about the crit rate and crit damage. I would just kind of stack attack on her. And I feel like with the poisons and then all that attack, she's going to be doing just as much damage as if she was on a full damage build, as you saw there. So let's check her A1, see how much damage she does. And now remember, her A2 doesn't do any damage at all. So you're only able to use this A3 and this A1. So that is pretty much going to determine how you want to use your Arya in forms of a damage dealer. I think a support hybrid build is the best way to go. She did almost 2k there on her A1, which was nice. So that she actually doubled on her A1. So I feel like my current build would be good on her. Because the Muggy does 2k on his A1 too. And he's fully skilled up. So she just did the same amount of damage on her A1 as the Muggy did. So I feel like the current build I have on her, maybe just add a little bit more crit rate to it. And take away the accuracy slot 6 and put in attack slot 6. And then get as much crit rate and crit damage and subs as you can. 
I feel like that is going to be the best build for your Arya and having her like 60 plus accuracy for the poisons and the glancing. Not necessarily a full DPS build, but a hybrid DPS build as in, you know, high accuracy, high speed, and then just really high attack and then as much crit rate and crit damage as you can get on her. Because 2000 on the A1 is actually pretty good. Yeah, she's hitting for almost 2k on the A1. So that actually changes things a little bit. And that's without a defense break. Let's see how much she does with a defense break on her A1 real quick. I don't want to drag this out too much, but I, I want to get a good general idea of how much damage she's doing. Because now this makes me want to just kind of up her attack. I want to drop the accuracy slot 6 and just put her on attack, attack speed. And then get more crit rate and such. So we're already at 50%. If we can get up to like 60 70%, that should be fine. Because I think she's scaling off attack more than anything, not necessarily the critical damage. Alright, so let's put a defense break. And let's see how much she does on her A1 with a defense break. Because if she's doing 2k without a defense break, she's going to be doing like 3k. What was that, 24k with the critical? So that's 400 more. Let's just end the turn here. Let's go back around to Arya. And she hits two targets. She always hits a sub-target on her A1, which is nice. So let's see how much damage she does again. So 26 and 24. That's actually really good damage for an A1. So I'm thinking my current build is fine. I just want to switch the slot 6 to attack instead of accuracy. I think that's how I'm going to build my Arya. And I think that's going to be the best build for her. Because then you're going to get uses out of her poison. You're pretty much going to get uses out of her whole kit at that point. Yeah, 16k again on her A1. Now let's see how much she does on her A3 without a defense break. And then we'll wrap this one up. Because I think this gives you guys a general idea of how much damage she's doing. Or can do on a damage set. So we got almost 29k. I, I can't see all of them because they all pop up so quick. But you guys will see it when you're watching this video. But I feel like a damage set could actually be good on her. Now, when we first started this, I didn't think so. But now I think I'm going to put her on more of a damage set. And when I say that, I mean I'm going to get rid of the accuracy slot 6. And I'm going to put her attack, speed, attack. I think that's going to be the best build for Arya. Let's see again here. That was critical, 15k. Yeah, I would say just stack attack on Arya. I'm going to keep further testing this. And remember, she's not skilled up. So she has potential to do even more damage. But for now... I'm going to leave it at, she is probably better on a damage build. I didn't think it was going to be this way, but I honestly think a damage build is going to be better for her. You don't want her too squishy. My URL's runes are pretty good. That's why she has pretty decent HP still. So I'm going to say my current set I had on her was good, but I would just have to make a few changes to it. And let's go over what I'm going to change on it. And then in the future, I will do another video on my newly built Arya. Now I had her on the revenge because of the A1. It also depends on where you're going to use Arya as well, like I said. So this current build I have on her is actually good. The only thing I want to change now is I want to change this to attack percentage with more crit rate. So if I get attack percentage here with like 10% crit rate, that'll give her 60% crit rate. I can use her with like a Napoleon, which will give her that 90-95% crit rate. And then she'll have close to that 16 to 1800 attack. Because I think she's scaling more of attack than anything else. And then just a little bit less accuracy. Because she really was doing nice damage there on that you're all set. So I'll let you guys decide what you want to do for now. I'm going to keep doing some testing. I'm going to put her on a better set, more crit rate, more crit damage, more attack. And maybe I'll scale her up just for testing purposes. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope that kind of shows you guys on how to build your Arya, whether you want to build it for damage or straight accuracy, support, hybrid. For me, I'm probably going to go with more damage build because she was really doing nice damage on her A1, just as much as the monkey was doing. So to me, that is really good damage. If you want to follow me on Twitch and Discord, that is in the description as always. We have a giveaway going on on Twitch. And then we also have the random giveaway going on here on YouTube. To be a part of this giveaway, just sub to the channel, like, and comment on all of the videos. And that will enter you into this YouTube giveaway, which is our random giveaway. Which I'll be picking a winner for that pretty much any day now. Spaceland 1 and 2 is actually looking for new guild members. So if you guys are interested, let me know on Discord. And we'll see if we can get you guys into one of the guilds. Because Spaceland 1 and 2 are actually down quite a few members at this point. So if you're interested, let me know. Link down in the description. As always, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace. <laughs>